Guys, in this video, you will learn how you can shortlist candidates for recruitment and send emails to them according to their eligibility and qualification automatically. Okay, for that, guys, we are going to connect Google Forms as a trigger application. And with the help of this form, we are going to receive job applications from different candidates. So uh, as we are going to receive the job application, according to the eligibility or educational qualification, different kind of emails will be delivered to different candidates. Okay. And for sending those emails, we are going to connect Gmail as the action application. And to make this happen, guys, we are using Pabli Connect, which is an integration and automation tool. And you can set up this automation very easily without any coding. Let me show you how. So this is the landing page of Pabli Connect and we have pasted the same link in the description as well. From here, you can set up your free Pabli Connect account and you will get free automation task every month to set up and test your automations. Okay, so you can just sign up right now by clicking on this button. And after that, you have to log in and reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect, which is here. You can see like this. And guys, here you have to create a workflow of automation for that. Just click on this create workflow button. And here you can give any suitable name to this workflow as well. So I'm giving the name here as recruitment automation. Okay. So after giving the name, just click on create button and you can see your workflow page is getting ready. And here you will find the trigger and action modules. So with the help of these things, we are going to set up this whole process. So here in the trigger, you have to select that application in which the trigger event is going to occur. So the trigger event is that event which is going to start this workflow and the action would be the consequences of the trigger or the responses of the trigger. So here in the trigger, we are going to connect today Google Forms because we have created a application form with the help of this application. So select this Google Form application here. Okay. And the trigger event would be which is going to start this workflow is a new response or an application received from the form. So you have to select this here and it will give you this webhook URL. So with the help of this, we are going to connect with Google form application. And after that, we are going to capture the response of that connection. And we are going to bring some test data here to set up the automation further. Okay. So for that, you need to follow these steps written here. I can show you directly. You can just read one by one and follow the steps. So guys, first of all, let me open the form in an incognito window. So we are using multiple Google accounts in my browser. So it is better to open the form and the sheet connected to it in a separate incognito mode so that you can fetch the uh, data from that form in a correct way. Okay. So here you can see this is the form I have created. And in this form, I have attached a spreadsheet in which we are collecting the details of the uh, applicants. Okay. So this is the spreadsheet I have connected with the form. And here we are collecting the timestamp of the form submission, the full name of the candidate, uh, the email address and the educational qualification and the location. Okay. So these are the questions I have asked here in the form. You can see and the details will be collected here. Right now, what I'm going to do here, you can see we have this extensions option, click on extensions and from this add ons button, click on get add ons. And from the Google workspace marketplace, you have to install an add on here, which is called Pabli connect webhooks. Search for Pabli connect webhooks and you have to install this add on here. So guys, it will just take a uh, two minutes to install it and you can see I have already installed it. So I do not need to install it again. But once you install it, guys, you have to refresh your spreadsheet. Also, this is an important step after uh, after installing the add on refresh the spreadsheet. And after refreshing, when you click on extension again, you will find this add on option in the drop down only, which is public connect web box. From here, you have to click on initial setup. And under initial setup, you will find these two fields, the webhook URL field and the trigger column field. So in the webhook URL field, you have to paste the webhook URL that you got in your workflow. And in the trigger column, you have to enter uh, the last or the final data entry column that you have in your spreadsheet. So the final data entry column I have is this E column. That means 
as the data is going to be entered here in the E column, that is going to trigger the workflow. So this is the trigger column, right? So first of all, let me just uh, copy my webhook URL from my workflow. Just click on copy from here. Okay, then go back to the spreadsheet. Click on extensions, public connect webhooks initial setup. Okay, so here we have already a webhook URL pasted. Let me remove it. Okay, and let me paste the new one like this. And the trigger column is E column only. So uh, keep E ad as it is. And here you can see in the workflow guys, as I have copied this URL, here it started showing waiting for the response. So this means now we can do a test submission. Test submission means we are going to send some data or fetch some data from our spreadsheet to here. That will act as a test data for us and we are going to set up the automation further. So to send the test data from the spreadsheet, you can see in the initial setup only, we have this send test button. So when you click on send test, the data of the first row you have in your spreadsheet will be sent to your workflow as the test data. Okay. So I am clicking on send test here. So guys, here you can see it is showing test data sent successfully. And these are the details that has been sent. Let us check in our workflow if we got the details. Okay. So here you can see in this response section, we got the details captured like this. It is showing the full name as dummy name. This is the email address. This is the qualification. Okay. And these are the same things that I have here in my spreadsheet. So from here, click on submit. Okay. You can see the submit setup is configured successfully. Now you can close the window and now guys, you have to do one thing more. Click on extensions one more time. And from this Pabli connect webhooks option, click on this send on event option also. So when you click on send on event with every new event, that means on every new form submission, the workflow is going to be triggered and the data will be sent. Okay. So click on send on event also, right? So we are done connecting with our form and the sheet. Now what we have to do, uh, you can see I have asked here in the questions section, I have asked for the qualifications of the candidates. So we have two kinds of qualifications, graduate and postgraduate. So we are going to send different kinds of emails for different kinds of educational qualifications uh, of the candidate. For the graduate candidates, I want to send an email with a task to complete so that we can recruit them. And for the postgraduate candidates, we are going to send a different email with a different task. Okay. So for that, we are going to use this action step. And here we have two conditions that we have two kind of qualifications. For that, we are going to create two kind of paths or conditional paths with the help of router feature of Pavli. So router will create these two routes or you can create many routes here according to the conditions that you have. Okay, so right now we have two conditions. So we got two routes here. So you can set up these routes. Let me rename these routes for the two conditions that we have. So you can see uh, the, the first route is for the graduate candidates and the second route is for postgraduate. Now let me click on set filter and action steps. And here you'll find this filter condition like this. So with the help of filter feature, we are going to apply the condition. So here you can see it is asking to select the label. So guys here we are going to use this test data and here we have received the data in all these labels. So guys, you can see we have received this educational qualification label and here we have the details. Okay. Graduate or postgraduate. So I'm going to select this label here in this filter in the route. So just click here and from here select the label. So it will show you the previous step or the trigger in the drop down. And when you click on it, it will show you all the data. So from here only select the educational qualification label, make the filter type equals to, and here in the value, just put the, uh, the condition that you want to apply here. So here you can see we are creating this route for graduate candidates. So just put graduate here like this. Okay. So this means we are saying to Pabli Connect here that when this educational qualification label is equal to graduate, then only continue this workflow and execute this path. So click on save and send test request. And here you can see 
it is started showing the condition is true okay so when this condition meets true then only this uh, path is going to be continued okay so after that what we want when this condition meets true we want that an email will be delivered to the graduate can, uh, candidate with a uh, graduate level task to complete okay so for that just click here on this plus icon and to send email we are using gmail application so connect gmail here in the section step and in the action event select send email option and then click on connect and from here select add new connection then click on connect with gmail and from this window you have to select that gmail account by which you want to send the emails so i am selecting this one and from here click on continue okay and you can see we are getting connected with gmail all right so we are now connected and here it is asking for the recipient's email address and all these things so for the recipient email address you have to enter the email address of your customer and you you received the details in the trigger the test details so just use the test details just click here and from this google forms tab map the email address label okay I do not want to put CC, uh, some anyone in CC or BCC, so I am leaving these fields blank. Here in the sender's name, you can uh, just enter your name or the person's name who is sending this email. So I am just putting here HR. Okay. Email subject. Job evaluation. task for graduate candidates okay you can just change the uh, things according to you i'm just showing you the demo okay so this will be our subject and here select the content type of email as plain and here in the email content section let us type a standard email for all the graduate candidates so let me type the email so I have written this email for the graduate candidates. You can see uh, dear and after dear, I want to mention the name of the uh, uh, the person who have applied. So you will get the name from the trigger step only from Google Forms. Just map the name label. OK, like this. So when you map the labels like this, what will happen in real time after setting up this automation? These labels are going to be updated every time the uh, workflow is executed and the email address and the name are going to change with every new uh, execution and the right emails will be delivered with the right data to the right candidate okay so here you can see we have uh, i have written we have received your job application to shortlist for interview you have to complete the task from this link and the tasks are designed for graduate level according to your qualification so this is the email i have typed for graduate candidates okay and you can check your connection with uh, your Gmail by clicking on save and send test request and a test email will be delivered to this email address. So guys, this is not an actual email address. Here I am going to put my email address just to show you the demo, how the email is going to look like in Gmail. Okay. And after entering my email address here, I'm going to click on save and send test request to show you the email. So guys, this is my email inbox and here let me click on save and send test request. And this is the response we have received. Let us check in my inbox if we got a new email. And this is a new email I have got. You can see the sender's name is HR Magnet Brains. And here you can see the subject is job evaluation task for graduate candidates. And this is the same email with the same details that I have mapped and entered here. So this is how it is going to work guys. So our connection is working fine with Gmail. So and we are done with this route. Okay. So similarly, we are going to create the second route. And so for that, just click here. And from this select label filter, uh, use the trigger step. And from here, select the qualification label again. Here is the qualification label. And now make this filter type equals to and you have to post put here post graduate. Okay, so and you have to type this postgraduate according to the option that you have created here in the form like this postgraduate. So you can just just copy this and paste it here. Let me type it manually. Okay, so now when this condition is true, an email will be delivered for the postgraduate candidates. So I'm clicking on save and send test request here 
and you can see the condition is false but in real time when this condition matches true the workflow is going to continue and to send the email guys just click on this plus icon and from the section step connect with gmail again and here in the action event select send email click on connect from here now guys the connection that you make uh, here in uh, your workflow are saved in your account so if you want to make the connection with same application again you can use the saved connection as i have already connected with gmail i can use my saved connections for that you just have to select this existing connection option and here you will find the list of all the saved connections that you have and from here you can use any of the saved connections for that you just have to click on save one more time and you will be connected again like this okay here it is asking for the recipient's email address again just map it from the same place from the trigger and for the sender's name let me put hr again okay and in the email subject let me type the email subject as job evaluation task for post graduates all right and here let me type the email so guys i have written the email again and here let me map the name of the uh, name of the job applicant from the email address uh, from the trigger step only okay and this is the same email but i have changed from graduate to post graduate here okay and this is the task link for the post graduates okay so you can change the email accordingly and for this condition this email will be delivered okay so i'm just saving this step and we are done setting up this automation and we have to set up this automation only once guys after that you don't have to do anything manually here in the workflow after that as and when you are going to receive any job application through your form the candidates will be filtered out automatically according to their qualifications and different candidate will uh, will receive different kind of emails from your side automatically and this workflow is going to run in the background okay and if you want to use this workflow guys you can use it because i'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description and you can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel